Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Way Too Wifey. I am your host, Respectfully Gabby, and in this podcast, we talk all things dating and relationships in this modern day. If you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notification so you will never miss another episode if you're watching this on YouTube. And then if you're watching this on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere else that you can listen to podcasts, please leave that five-star rating. And thank you so much to everyone that has already done so. I really, truly appreciate it. So thank you. Another announcement, I am now accepting clients for my online coaching. If you've ever had questions, concerns, if your dating life is in shambles, if you don't know what's going wrong in your dating life right now, I have a 12-week program that I have been working on for the past six months, and I have absolutely perfected this i've tested it out on myself i've tested it out on friends and they seem to absolutely love the process so if you've ever had any questions concerns whatever in your dating life feel free to reach out i'm here to answer any questions and then hit the link in my bio to apply if you're serious about transforming your dating life with that being said let's hop into the episode today we have a guest obviously this is our first ever return guest I'm so honored. Be, honestly, you should be honored. <laughs> I really am, honestly. <laughs> so today we're talking about homie hopping. Hmm. I wanted to first off start off by saying, like, or asking you if you've had experiences with this on either side. Yeah. Um, so first things first, before we really get into it, I think it's important to define okay. what okay. homie hopping <laughs> is because how I see it, there's like two versions. You know, it's either, you know, person you're casually hooking up with person one and then homie one let's say and then you casually hook up with homie two right i've definitely been involved in that situation on both sides okay so just to be not do you think anyone's in the wrong for doing that no if it's casual you know truly casual like no strings attached no feelings okay. involved i really don't think there's any issue with that but if there is feelings involved yeah exactly so like where do you draw the line i guess yeah exactly so however version two is when you know you're intimately involved with homie one and then you're either intimately or even casually involved with homie too that's when shit gets messy real quick i think when feelings get involved that's when it gets messy exactly yeah because like on both sides when you're the guy knowingly involving yourself with somebody that your friend has history with mm -hmm. you're essentially making the choice right then and there to at the very least make your friendship weird with your friend oh for sure at the very least and honestly I've more broken up friends before exactly <laughs> more often than not that's what happens <laughs> Best Oops. friends from like, I, like oh, see, like that's just... forever, and then they went to college together, and you know, obviously, I got in between that. Oh my, I, I can't <laughs> I believe don't you. Friends anymore? I can't believe you. <laughs> what? No, but like, see, that's why, like, it's it's just a messy situation. Then I kind of make it a point to myself to look at anyone that my friends are talking to, whether it's even dating or even talking to, just they're one of the guys, like yeah i don't see them as an option are from that you point out. friends have that same no hell no <laughs> i have a lot of friends okay yeah i have a lot of friends who don't see things that way and literally have no problem going after people i've been with i don't have okay. personally i don't have an issue with it because if you're in the past you're in the past for me so if you were to talk to a girl and you really liked her and then like a couple months later you find out that she's like you know talking to one of your friends your homeboys i'm not gonna sit here and lie like that wouldn't bother me <laughs> but like i wouldn't be too pressed about it like I, it just depends on the extent of how deep our relationship was I, okay, i'd say no, that. you really liked her is what i'm saying i really liked her but okay. were we yeah if i really liked her that means we're we're deep yeah, yeah no i'd have an issue with that for sure okay, but <laughs> i wouldn't i don't know if i would blame her more or him more i'm pretty sure i'd blame my friend more to be honest yeah i think the friend is in the wrong because mm -hmm. like i as a friend of people i would i wouldn't do that to my friends you know like that's yeah, shitty. no like, literally even if you like saw him attractive and you like really liked him in any way i don't think that i would pursue him really out of respect yeah see. well my friends have very different types honestly so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah if your friend was like bringing this guy around that was their man no I and you're never, really like yeah, no. clicking with him though but you, and then like let's say they break up and is there like a time frame that makes it acceptable okay honestly no so, I, like, I just, even I if it's, it's been like five like years, years okay maybe yeah i think time definitely plays a factor yeah um but, but it's fresh like yeah 
brush and they weren't really much then maybe but like that's never been a case for me i would never like overstep that yeah i definitely think like like there's got to be some boundaries there yeah two years minimum is the, the <laughs> greatest period <laughs> Okay, so you thought about this <laughs> <laughs> on the spot, but like, yeah, I feel like two years is a, is a pretty decent time. Yeah, one year, I think. One year, minus it's only because years. I say two years because I've seen people still sick over you know yeah. girls or boys. Honestly, up two to two years. years, yeah, that's true. But if it was that deep, where you had to take two years to like overcome mm -hmm. that, yeah, see, that's fucked up. Still. It really is. So, like, that's what I'm saying. It's just a messy situation, yeah. homie hopping and involving yourself with you know people who had history with your friends and vice versa. Yeah, I had history with this one guy, and he disrespected the fuck out of me in college. And like, <laughs> wait, what does that mean? Like, I flew to see him wherever oh. he lived, and then he kicked me out of his house. And then I had one of my girlfriends, this is like the end of our friendship, honestly, mm. um, say like, cause he moved down to South Florida mm. and she was like, oh, like, would you care if I hung out with him? And I'm like, the fact that you even had to ask, like, not that I had any feelings for him at all at that time, but like he disrespected me and like, you want to go hang out with him for what? Mm. Yeah, no, for what? And then like, how, so how close are you with this friend? We were really close at the time. Mm. We're not close anymore. Because of that? yeah uh, yeah that is disrespectful if you're close I mean, and like think about it. and it like really sat with it because it didn't bother me that they would hang out because i don't care about him but like right the fact that he disrespected me on that level exactly. my friend was okay with like still hanging out with him like, exactly yeah. you don't even respect yourself at that point for real because like what does she plan on getting from that like yeah. a relationship just hanging up and they, let's say hanging, i like I, I didn't even know like what she was really asking i'm like are you just like hanging out or like what i don't Come on, we're, we're adults. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Like this guy's no good. Like why? Why? This guy's no. Good. See, like that's what I'm saying. I have that code. So I really don't go after anyone my friend has been with. Okay. Intimately, um, I really don't even try to go after them, even if they're casually involved, because I just I think it's a little weird. Yeah, it's weird. But like, I do have this one friend since high school. It's like he makes it a point to pursue girls that I've been. I'm not gonna say any names, and he's honestly to this day still one of my he's, best friends. He's still he's gonna be watching. <laughs> he might fuck around. He might like, fuck around and be watching this. Like, hold on, <laughs> but no. Nah. Makes a difference though if you're like in a small town because like that used to happen to me with like where I'm from. My friends would always like immediately after they stopped talking to a guy, they would talk to them. I'm like, that's weird. Yes, yeah, it's but like, it's also it's also because we were like literally the town was so small like there was no options. What town? I'm not even uh, oh. go there. <laughs> right, very small. Okay, okay, but anyway, go ahead. yeah, my homeboy. He's just and it wasn't just like coincidental. Like you know, it would literally be right after I'm done either talking to or being involved with said person. He would pursue her, and <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I wouldn't even say that it was annoying because like. The girls were honestly more annoyed by it. Like they, they would hit me up saying, "Hey, why is <laughs> your home? <homeboy>. Yeah, <laughs> like why is your homeboy hitting me up all of a sudden? Blah, blah blah. Like I've literally never said a word to him, and he's Snapchatting me all the time now. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So that's that's like the extent I've seen. Also, like like I don't have any stories I've been directly involved in, but I've seen it affect like people in my friend group. Mm. Still not naming names. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but <laughs> but. One of my very good friends had, um, you know, just a casual hookup with a girl. It was really on some like one night stand stuff, nothing yeah. crazy. Um, and then literally probably like two, three years later, one of his close friends um, ends up, you know, talking and eventually dating. Before they got to the dating stage, you know, he asked my friend, like, hey, like, what all have you done with her? Blah, blah, blah. Like, mm. it wasn't like he was pursuing her because he'd been with her. He just, they just happened to have history that he know known of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I say all that to say they're not the closest of friends anymore. Not because of anything malicious, but then just the simple it's fact that it's like, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like he knows that one of his good friends has been very into. Well, not, I wouldn't even say, like I said, it was a casual hookup, yeah. but still like intimately involved like with his a girl. Bit of a wedge. Exactly. So yeah. like he doesn't really come around too much anymore. Obviously, he doesn't bring her around yeah. like the guys. But like, and if that could happen off of just like a one night stand casual hookup, imagine mm -hmm. like if. They were they really, really like involved yeah. with each other. I honestly think that if someone was really involved, I think that that's where you should draw the line. Yeah. Personally. But like, like I said, it wasn't really, they weren't really involved. It was a casual one night stand hookup and he's still being weird about it. Yeah. Would you ever, if you were, went out with a girl and you're like this, like she's cool, but like, she's not 
it? Like, would you be like, hey, this is a cool girl to your friends? Or you wouldn't even think about that? What do you mean? Like, hey, you should have her. <laughs> do guys do that? Like, hey, you say like, I'm just like, she's one of my like, wife. I'm giving him a wife or something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Like if, if your friends were like really looking for something serious or whatever. Um, I've definitely like introduced friends. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I actually have done that before. When, okay. Like, I know that it's not really a fit for me, yeah. but you know, they would click more than, you know, we would click. I've definitely, you know, made the introduction before, but yeah, the way you were, where did yeah, that? that was a little weird. <laughs> I actually just recently found out that that's actually a thing. So in the Middle yeah. East, you can really gift somebody a wife, like Wait, one of your wife. Yeah, like on some like Pokemon trading card type shit. Wait, like. What? So I have, I have a friend who has a, a mentor. He's like a Hall of Fame baseball player. Um, he's an entrepreneur now, involved yeah. in a lot of stuff, very high value. He was over in the Middle East doing business, and I guess he really struck a chord with this one guy to the point where. He was like, yeah, um, do you want one of my wives? <laughs> literally blew my mind. Like, literally lost some trading card stuff. But yeah. Okay, so the only time I've ever done this, really... Actually, no, I've tried this before, but I matched with this one guy on Hinge. And mm-hmm. ironically enough, he was Middle Eastern. And, <laughs> and my friend at the time was also Middle Eastern, and she really wanted a Middle Eastern guy. I'm like, this is never going to work out between me and him. So I, like, sense. sent the information over, and then they talked for, like, a week, and then it just... I don't know. Nothing happened, but hey, you tried the. I did the best that I could. You're, you're honestly a good friend for that, for real. Honestly, though, no girl. Would you feel salty though if a girl you were like messing with her and then she just like went off with one, one of your friends? Hell yeah, I definitely feel really? salty. Really? Well, yeah, like either way, even if I ended things with her, even if I ended things with her yeah. and it's been some time and she still ended up pursuing one of my guys. I would feel some type of, I wouldn't necessarily say I feel salty. Yeah. I'd feel some type of way about it though. Like it's a little weird to me. Like, really? Were you, were you but look, what if she, okay. Were you, like, yeah. Looking at him while you're with me type shit, where you like planning on like plotting on him, like while we were together. So that's why I find it just a little weird. I think sometimes, well, in the past, I think I've, I may have done this before, but just like out of being petty would do it i hear this so so often <laughs> from girls yes i hear that so often <laughs> really yeah yeah just I'm like okay well fuck you then like mm. your homeboy so don't don't follow my advice <laughs> here i so i've been in a situation before where like you know i'm with a girl and honestly her friend like she brings me around one of her friends and she's more my type yeah but i still maybe maybe i still have honor or something but I mean, like, like respect yeah, yeah i still just don't even like look at her like that and like even after a relationship fizzled out like i still wouldn't even pursue yeah. her like that because one obviously i understand what that would bring i'm not trying to break yeah. up any friendships <laughs> lifelong friendships but two like i just assume that girls have that girl code where they wouldn't even entertain that you would think yeah. some people don't no yeah no (laughs) some people really don't yeah i've been involved in also situations where it's like yeah don't tell someone so about this do you yeah Mm -hmm. yeah but do you think men are worse about that or women worse about like hooking up with friends yeah homie hopping i guess um definitely women to be honest like yeah i feel like it's it'd be honestly easier for them too because men like i said i have a homeboy he was just like a hookup or accept anything yeah as girls are a lot more selective and they have you think a, a that bit more honor you think of women differently whenever they do stuff like that a little bit because it kind of goes to what like we were oh just she's just about. a hoe like <laughs> i don't know if i'd say she's like, just she's a just hoe like... but like the vindictive part of it like we we're just talking yeah. about like are you like what are you getting out of it yeah, yeah. honestly though for sure if you're a casual like <laughs> homie hopper like uh what's a, 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 a serial homie hopper where that's like your thing then you might be a hoe for <laughs> sure like venture there's, there's more than enough men i don't realize okay so that's, like that's on what, what what do they call that non-premeditative so that's not okay that's not the worst okay thing. yeah because like when i moved down here that happened to me so much on accident just everyone fucking knows everyone yeah it, um, like i just i happen to meet like the most well-connected people in miami that knows everyone no for real miami's like that it's very yeah. like tight-knit like I'm like okay now i realize i have to be careful here <laughs> <laughs> no like, for real like, one time oh my god so i was talking to this guy immediately when i like moved here a couple years ago mm-hmm. and i went on a boat one time with 
I didn't know they were friends, to be honest. I really had no idea. <laughs> they didn't have they didn't follow each other on Instagram with any mutual. So I found out after the fact. Yeah. Oh man. So um I had been like making out with this guy on the the boat. Mm-hmm. Like two days later, the first guy invited me over to his house for like a get together. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, yeah. So I show up and they're both sitting next to each other on the couch. That's and I'm by crazy. myself. I'm like that is crazy. Fuck. And I'm like, damn, I, I wonder if they know. And they had to have known. I feel like guys talk way more than than girls no, talk. Guys do not talk way more than girls, but they had to they have known though. They most likely because yeah. the mutual following. Exactly. I wonder if this was a setup. I wonder if they set me up <laughs> to come. That what, what, are they, what would they be trying to get out of that? Okay, just, I up. don't know, to make me uncomfortable. <laughs> and I was like. I was drunk, so I'm like, okay, we got to figure out an escape plan. No, for real. I'm really interested to hear how you maneuvered that. I don't really remember, to be honest. It was forever ago, but I'm pretty sure I stayed for like an hour and then I left. <laughs> Wait, on a boat? No, so I met that other guy on a boat. Oh, and then like okay. a couple of days later, I was at this guy's house for the get together and they just have it it was a very intimate get together <laughs> <laughs> quite, <laughs> awkward. quite awkward yeah so at that point i just realized that this guy just knows everyone of miami honestly be like that for, uh, yeah. depending on like the niche you involve yourself in like all the would you ever do that though like set a girl up like that no, like, what would I, that kind of be awkward for me too. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I, I couldn't see myself doing that. That's like on some like prank wars. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, did you talk to them after that? We're cool. Did, wait, wait. Did you ever confirm that they found out? Yeah. No, I told. I, I had to bring uh, it up. What is the it thing say? is, like, I have to bring it up because I don't want any type of like awkwardness moving forward. I respect the honesty. Huh? Especially if you plan on like continuing a relationship with someone, I feel like they should know those things. For, no absolutely so i i was like damn like i didn't know you guys were friends prior to i'm sorry and he's like yeah it doesn't really matter i don't care mm. and i'm like okay well <laughs> we it doesn't it was, matter i don't care you know, i'm like I, again, we, yeah no he didn't so wait let me ask you i don't feel like i haven't really asked you like what are your opinions on homie hopping like, like you know how he just said it doesn't really matter i don't care now if it was the reverse where you found out you know he had history with oh, one no, of your friends it could be it the end of the world for really me. i respect him when i'm down here <laughs> and it'd be the end of the world for you why Not the end of the world but i mean yeah but like why would it be such a big deal um because first of all my friends would know better <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> um just like out of respect like why would you do that when you know i really liked this guy no no no. but what if it was like before so like he didn't oh if re- he if, okay yeah beforehand. like he had history with one of your friends before he even knew you I mean, to be honest, I had history with one of his friends before. Like really a bad episode. Bad <laughs> reflection on me. Back in okay, the time thing. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't anything serious. Like we had probably made out in like college, like my first year of right. college. So like oh, wow. yeah. forever ago, like yeah. 2013, 14. Yeah, for real. And then like I had hung that's how we met was through that mutual friend. Mm. And so, but if the roles were reversed, you'd have an issue with that. If it was like very historic history, um, no, I don't think so. Because that was history? prior to. I think that maybe I wouldn't have been as attracted to him if I knew that he if had you knew a that from the jump. Yeah, yeah. But if it was something that I didn't know, then maybe. What if he knew it from the jump and he just didn't want to tell you until you guys were like very, very along the line, like down the line in the relationship, and then he like laid it on you i don't think that this was ever going to turn into a relationship so i don't <laughs> think it would have mattered anyway <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. um yeah i don't know i think that might have bothered me a little bit but i probably with the amount that i liked him at the time i probably would have looked past it that's not that's not a very honest answer i feel yeah. like a lot of women are in situations like that where they just like a guy so much that they look they past, look past a, a lot, lot of red flags, a lot of red flags. Yeah. honestly though yeah no i can't not anymore. I used to do that a lot. I think everyone kind of. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you don't like past red flags at this point. Cut. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, yesterday I had um like gone out with this guy this past weekend mm-hmm. or not this past. Yeah, whatever, Friday. And it was like with his friends. And I vibed more with his friends. Oh, here we go. His. I see why you chose this topic. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, I had this idea for a while. I just happened to finally record it. Ironically, this happened this weekend. So, story. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I vibed with his friends more, and I could tell that his friends were vibing with me more, honestly. His friends are then plural? Okay, so like we hung out with one of his friends during the day and then a different friend during the night mm. and then the friend during the night i'm like damn i wish i was on a date with him instead <laughs> of this guy because <laughs> i don't like this guy at all but then they invited us to like a um, pool party mm-hmm. yesterday uh, they were like setting up a table but then he's like okay I'll, I'll come get you when we have a table i was like okay cool the original guy or his friend the original guy okay and then me and my friend were just like chilling out like the promoter table i saw him like talk to a bunch of girls and i was like okay honestly like i'm down to leave like i'm this is not my vibe I'm anyway down i'm down to leave I, this i've seen what i needed to see I've seen enough <laughs> i've seen enough so i walked over and like tapped him mm-hmm. and he did not break connection with this girl at all and i was like the original guy yes i'm like damn the amount of disrespect i just encountered yeah for, for like did he, i had tapped him and he like didn't even look at literally brush brush you off huh? like, i wasn't even there like i was a ghost <laughs> and he definitely felt you tap him huh? yes and then i was like okay and then as i was walking out i saw his friend and i was like what do i do here i have <laughs> see if you ask me i think you would have been in the clear to pursue his friends because one it wasn't like you were dating or i guess you technically were dating this guy but you weren't in a relationship no. with this guy it was one time we hung out like, oh it was exactly like not even yeah, so, like, I think you'd be... But then he called me immediately after and, like, kept calling me. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, after he blatantly disrespected yeah, you. Yeah, like, I was... I, oh, well, they were, like, in my industry. I had to talk to them. You didn't even give me a chance to, like... Oh, nah, but, like, that's, that's... I've seen what I needed to see. Right, that was that okay was that you're talking to somebody, but not the dis- the brush off. Like, the... that's disrespectful. As fuck, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. That's what I was going to ask. Like, did he... You think he, like, felt some type of way about you vibing with his friends more? That's why he did that? But, like... I don't know that he noticed. Exactly. I feel like he was up his own ass the whole time. So he didn't realize. But would you consider that ho- homie hopping then? If you did pursue his friends after the fact? I don't know. I wouldn't. No? No, nah, I wouldn't. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't going to anyway. But I was like, damn, should I just make out just to be petty? <laughs> <laughs> you should have, bro. Because I didn't even kiss the other guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You definitely should have. He would have been sick. He definitely would have been sick. This kind of reminds me of like reality dating shows honestly like yeah which i can definitely see you being on one of no, those yeah i can kidding. definitely see you being what, on what? One. i'm not drama enough i don't think yeah that's the only thing but like i feel like you have the the wherewithal to really maneuver those as well i think i can maneuver them really well i don't think i would go on a dating show though i also don't think that they would want me on a dating show as like a coach really yeah why <laughs> why is, i mean yeah because like, they really are hungry for that drama yeah. like they're like oh no she's too healthy now <laughs> <laughs> no it's crazy so like love island they reached out to me to be on there i could see you on love island no fuck that <laughs> yeah I, I i say fuck that but i did go through the interview process <laughs> I felt it out. I felt it out for sure until like it was like the very final interview where like I was gonna interview with like the yeah. executive producers and whatnot for MTV or whatever network they're on, and like it was gonna yeah. be recorded and all this stuff. They were telling me like what to wear, I had to send them outfit options, all this other stuff. Yeah. Um, send them pictures of my hair and all this like for an interview, and then it was at that point where I was just of like your hair. <laughs> yeah, literally like of my hair, my face, like my beard was a little shit shaving at the time. So they're like, you want to just like shave it all off? I'm like, no. What? <laughs> yeah, it was cr- it's crazy. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the people on that show is like n- nothing. Like they don't right. they don't pick people that have facial hair. Yeah, so fuck that. <laughs> it took me a while to grow this beard. Young, very young. Yeah. On that show. And yeah, so like how like nitpicky they were kind of instantly turn me off to be yeah. on the show because like if they're this picky during the interview process i couldn't imagine yeah. like how how picky they'd be on the show and then i started doing research mm. of people who've been on the show and like their experience afterwards and like yeah it's like they really go out of their way to choose mentally unstable people yeah. so it could be because they know they bring drama and they know the drama brings ratings that's and true i was definitely not trying to involve myself in <laughs> any of that they needed therapy afterwards and all that stuff and <laughs> Yeah, it's like it gets serious. There was a couple of suicides from people on Love Island. Yeah. You know wow, I'm surprised you haven't heard of this. Yeah. They probably do a good job of like sweeping that under the rug. But like awesome. I watched this season too, and he was like an attractive what, guy as well. What season was it? Um, I couldn't tell. He's one of the foreign ones, UK, maybe, oh, okay, maybe UK okay. season two. Yeah, I didn't watch any of this. Um, he was one of the guys who came in like later, and what had happened was that the show or the producers made him out to see seem like a, a bad guy. Damn. And yeah. 
outside of Love Island, he was getting like, you know, going on Twitter, you know, people are ruthless on the internet. And That's crazy. he was getting a lot of hate. And they they brought him back on Love Island. Like he got like kicked off and then brought back in the same season. Damn. And yeah, he didn't get any more love the second time around. So yeah, probably like a year or two later. I mean, don't oh. quote me on the timeline, but he ended up committing suicide. He wasn't the only one either, but that's just the one I know the most because I actually watched that yeah. season. That's really fucking sad. It really Honestly, is. you can say anything on that show and they're still going to twist. Exactly. Twist. Yeah. You know, like a conversation that you might have, they're going to take bits and pieces of it to make you sound like the bad guy. Oh, for sure. Or make you sound crazy, like the crazy girlfriends. Like no, Exactly. Like they really make villains on that show. Like, yeah. And that's the thing about me. I hate being misunderstood. So, like, that shit would definitely irk oh, me. It would, it would, yeah. That shit would irk me. And then if you can't handle, like, the criticism online, too, I think that that's, like, For sure. you're going to get criticized. Definitely. It doesn't matter what you do. If you... You could be like the the best person on the show and still get criticized for something. Yeah, they like a lot of people like myself would like think, oh, I'm gonna go on the show, be America's sweetheart, like yeah. you're gonna love me. Good luck. Good. Fucking That's not luck. what they're looking for. They're looking for America's Drama. villain. Like, yeah. <laughs> but the villains get far. That's the problem. They do, but then I also thought about that and was like, I don't want to like pursue a career in reality TV. Yeah, like, not not at all. The grand prize was like a hundred k or something. I'm like. Yeah this is nothing like Can in the I grand just... scheme of things this is nothing <laughs> like Can you have to split it <laughs> yeah like, yeah for real like <laughs> come on now yeah for real, yeah so i was like i'm actually i'm gonna make that somewhere else <laughs> no literally thank like, you but no thank you damn so would you go on any other reality no i would definitely go on the circle on netflix oh i would love being on the circle yeah i would definitely go on the circle their circle or i don't know have you seen the mole i feel like i would the go mole? On no but there's a new show called perfect match yeah on netflix and they have a couple of people from the mall yeah yeah they have a bunch of reality people on what there. is the mall about it's just like someone is the mall and then no one knows who it mm. is so you and you have to like that. pretend either you are or you aren't and like people try to like each week you vote for who you think it is mm -hmm. and the person that gets far is like you have to trust your gut and see like with reality tv shows i feel like you have to have be like at least a little bit of a sociopath to succeed yeah, yeah. on any real reality show because that sounds very manipulative like very yeah but it's not a dating show oh it's not no oh, okay so it's I mean, still, still, they it's go through like challenges and like you they like oh this person like sabotage the the challenge they must be the mole mm. but it really they could just be doing that so you think that they're the mole so you vote wrong so if you vote wrong you get kicked off yeah like the person oh, who didn't vote the least I kind of um, would, would want to be on that show too. Off that week, low key. Yeah, no, that shows honestly ten out of ten. I loved it. I didn't think I was gonna love it that much, but I was hooked. I was hooked. Yeah. Netflix, the mall, go watch. <laughs> Shout out to the mall. <laughs> Shout out to Netflix. <laughs> I usually ask the same question, but I kind of want to switch it up. I guess. Okay, what's the worst piece of dating advice? that you've ever heard or gotten um when i was a, in high school you know i was a freshman i had a lot of upperclassmen friends they were like considered the cool guys in high school they were like oh yeah bro like if you want to like have girls go crazy for you you just got to be an asshole you just gotta yeah. be a dick Damn. and then you know me and my impressionable mind at the time like okay <laughs> man, like that's easy <laughs> but then like as i've gotten older it's like i see why they say that because yeah. obviously you know women don't like simps and all that you know all that stuff but yeah um it's like i think there's a fine line yeah like there's definitely a fine it's not necessarily like being an asshole whether like just not being like putting the woman on a on a pedestal i think yeah yeah i agree like yeah. you're sure of who you are and exactly what you're like, the table. you have a purpose that's, that that's purpose. honestly people get it so mixed up it's not that you're a simp it's that you're putting someone else on a pedestal exactly no it exactly. doesn't deserve it and yeah. then the mean guy no one wants a, like the thing is we don't want an asshole yeah what we do like is a nice guy that has a bit of an edge yeah like he's he's nice but he's assertive like yeah he's push over like You're, yeah that is terrible advice horrible. how long did you play that out um it wasn't it wasn't too long i didn't really start dating like for real for until college anyway okay. because i feel like high school doesn't matter we're all yeah. like going our separate I'm so ways glad i didn't fucking date year. in high school at all yeah <laughs> Yeah, I feel real bad for the high school sweethearts. Yeah. Can you imagine being married from high school? Fuck that. Like, I know for a fact my soulmate's not in <laughs> Illinois. My soulmate is not in that high school. Yeah. 
Yeah, a small town, that. absolutely not. There was probably two people in that whole school that I found attractive. Yeah, I would have also just missed out on so many experiences, experiences. being locked in that early. Yeah. If you're young and you're watching this, please give yourself some time. For real. For real. Give yourself some time. Because, like, when you date, you figure out more about yourself. Like, you figure out mm-hmm. what you like, more importantly, what you don't like. Yeah. And then that's kind of what helps you find that perfect match. I know mm-hmm. I just mentioned that. Yeah. Netflix, so, but for <laughs> real, if you're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Well, so, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, for real. But like, if you're locking in with somebody, this is that's a lifelong commitment. Yeah. So like, and also you change so much mm-hmm. in your twenties. Facts. Yeah. That like, if I were to have picked someone, high school, college, even after college, that would not be what I want now. Yeah. Would, Unless we we're growing agree. in the same direction, which is very rare. I feel like. Very. Yeah, I would absolutely agree. That is it for this week's episode. Thanks so much for coming on. Of course. Thanks for having me. Honestly, yeah. Come back again. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll come back anytime you have me, honestly. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave that thumbs up. Leave that five-star rating. I appreciate each and every view. So thank you so much for listening to this episode. And I will see you all next Tuesday.